everyone, so it's me again. Uh, tonight I'm going to show you how I set up my fluids. Um, I do this every night, I have two litres a day. Most of the time I run that as two, um, two litres at once. Sometimes I run it as two separate uh, bags, so a one litre in the afternoon and a one litre overnight, uh, which is what I did in my last video. So I'm going to show you setting up with my double spike giving sets that run two bags at the same time. So I wash my hands, obviously, and the first thing to do is to wipe down the trolley. And I've got a few too many wipes out, but never mind, it's a new packet. I've just got a little bin bag down on the side, makes life a lot easier. So then I need to dry with disposable paper towels. and wipe the surface with a sanic cloth which is an alcohol chlorhexidine mix wipe um, it just sanitizes the surface um, so this one you need to air dry as it's the evaporation that breaks the cells of the bacteria and kills it right so next thing i need to do is collect everything from this trolley that i need so we've got a flush, two dressing towels, two pairs of gloves, the double spike and the, the set that it joins to to go in the pot. I've got my two bags of fluid down here and then I just need three more sunny cloths and some tape. So first thing I'm going to do, or next thing I'm going to do, is remove the so I'm move them from the outer packaging and I just place them on the edge of my trolley. At this point I'll just remind everyone that this is just how I do it. It's not um, for everyone, so follow your protocol. Um, my battery is running low and I'm hoping it will make it through the whole video. If not, I'll be filming again tomorrow. So we're just going to snap off the ends and clean the ports that the spike goes into. I do it all without thinking now, so I have to make a conscious effort to say what I'm doing. So second bag, do the same thing. So next thing I'm going to do is put my sterile dressing towel on to create my sterile field. So you're just going to touch it at the edges only. So next thing I'm going to do is put everything I need onto my sterile field. So we've got half of the giving set. The double spike part of the giving set. So the spikes that go into the bag. two bits of tape to stick the second sterile field to me so I just stick those on the edge of the trolley and last but not least my pump so I have the Micrel Mini Rhythmic and uh, it has an external battery pack for some reason so I'm just going to open that up 
Right, next I need to wash my hands again, so I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so that's my hands washed again. So next up, I need sunny cloth and another sterile dressing towel. So the second towel I'm going to stick to myself uh, and then clean my line and put it on the sterile field. So open it up, stick the tape oh, on each corner. And then I'm going to put my line up into my neckline and stick the style field to me. And then take my second, my third, fourth, fourth sunny cloth oh, and clean the line for 15 seconds once I've taken the little green cap off. Okay, so that's 15 seconds, so then I'm just going to clean anywhere on the line I might touch, so just the end of it, and drop it onto the sterile field. So next up, alcohol gel, really important, go through quite a lot of it, so I'm just going to rub that in. Ow. And then we're going to put on the first pair of sterile gloves. So the whole trick to getting sterile gloves on is to make sure you don't touch the sterile part, you only touch the inside of the cuff, which is folded over. Um, I'm sure if you Google you can find lots of videos on how to put on sterile gloves. So we're just going to discard the paper. So the first thing I need to do is set up my giving set. So remove the little paper tabs and straighten out. So you can see the whole line and make sure there's no air. And I just place my syringe on top to stop it escaping. So this end here connects to this end here. So there's little caps, I don't know if you can see. Um, but there's little caps on, which I'm just going to remove. And then without touching either end, just screw it on. Um, you then close the little blue clamps on the line and we're going to spike the bags. So take the cover off the packaging, off the spike, um, and then the little port on the end of the bag, just going to stick the spike in and push until it goes all the way. And we're going to do that for the other side, the other spike as well. Brilliant. So next up we need to put this bit into the pump, so it just goes into the pump and then through the filter part, which I can add a photo at some point hopefully, and close. So then I'm going to turn it with the leads coming out the bottom, because I'm using the double giving set for attachment. If you use the single one, you put it the other way up. I don't know why. It seems to be something to do with the shape of the filter, because the filters are different. So now I'm going to put my amount into my pump. So I've got two litres and 13... I'll we'll put 13 and a half hours, so that'll finish about lunchtime, which is when I get up. So that's given us our time, volume, etc. So next thing we're going to do is open one of the clamps and press the purge button. So what that does is drags the fluid through from the bag, through the pump, and fills the line with with the saline solution. Um, I have deck saline, just because that's what my team decided was best for me. Um, I'm not really sure on the rationale behind all the different things, but I get all my other electrolytes from my tube feed. So I don't need any additional electrolytes, it's just the fluid that I'm missing. Um, I think the saline, the deck saline has something to do with um, less food retention because it's got less salt than the normal saline bag and a little bit of glucose. I'm not 100% sure on that. I 
Okay, so I can see it coming out now. So it's filled the line. Just wait for it to beep. There we go. So the next thing you do is close the line you've just opened and open the line that the other line and do the same thing again. So fill the giving set. So the next thing to do is change your gloves. So because we're going to touch the line, you put new gloves on. I'm trying to do this before my camera battery dies. Okay. So next thing we're going to do is flush the line. So you do this in a push pause motion and it's to increase the amount of pressure in the syringe so it flushes the line better. And then we're going to connect the giving set and press start. Uh, my line doesn't have a clamp, it's a Groshong line so it has this little internal valve that opens under pressure depending which way the pressure is it opens inwards or outwards. Uh, when there's nothing going through, it's just closed. So, brilliant. There we go, so that is my fluids setting up. Um, next thing I do is put it in the backpack to get upstairs, and uh, go do my bedtime routine, and then I get to bed. Hey everyone, so my fluids are finished, and I'm gonna just go through my disconnection. Um, so again, we need to wipe the table down with the detergent wipe. then dry it with some paper towels then take a sunny cloth and clean the surface again So while that dries I'll just gather the things I need. So I need two dressing towels, one pair of gloves, a flush, another sandy cloth, a little green curious cap which is like a little cap with alcohol in that keeps the line sterile green. Um, and again a bit of tape and some alcohol gel. So first thing to do again is to prepare your sterile field. So we've got a dressing towel, and on there a flush, and a pair of gloves. And then I just pop the little curious cap on the side of the table next to the sterile field and tear off two lengths of tape again. Okay, so next I just need to wash my hands again, so I'll just go do that. Okay, so hands are now clean, so again we're going to put a sterile towel over my t-shirt and clean the line and place it on the towel. So again I'll just put the line over my shoulder. And another sunny cloth. Okay, so this time I'm going to unscrew the giving set and just drop that, and I'll get rid of the bag in a minute. Or bags, and then. 
been the hub of the line, the bionector, for 15 seconds again. And just wipe up the line again. And alcohol gel. Thankfully disconnections are nice and easy. Um, they don't take anywhere near as much time as a connection. Just to dry my hands. There we go. So again, I'm going to put my cool sterile gloves on without touching the actual body of the glove. So you get your fingers under the cuff. Um, if you want to find out more about putting sterile gloves on, there's loads of YouTube videos. So we're going to unscrew the cap from the syringe and get rid of that, push all the air out of the syringe and flush the line push pause motion again. There we go and then we just get to the, peel the back off the little curious cap, attach it to the end of the line and we're done. So that's how I do my day-to-day -day, uh, line care, connections, disconnections, that kind of thing. Um, I change my dressing once a week and I change the bionector at the end of the line once a week. Um, but I won't show you that because my line is quite low down and I'll end up flushing. So thanks for watching if you've got all the way through and I'll see you in the next one.